White dwarfs are basically the burned-out cores of stars. The central region of a typical white dwarf star is composed of a mixture of carbon and oxygen, surrounded by a thin envelope of helium and an even thinner layer of hydrogen. When a star like the Sun, or with an initial mass of up to three or four solar masses, has burned off all of its hydrogen fuel, it expands to become a red giant. After the outward pressure from the fusion reaction stops, the star expels most of its outer material and creates a planetary nebula. What remains is the core of the star, which becomes a very hot white dwarf, with a temperature over 100,000 Kelvin. Because there's no fusion reaction happening anymore, unless it is accreting matter from a nearby star, the white dwarf cools and becomes invisible over the next billion years or so. This beautiful Hubble Space Telescope image shows a nearby white dwarf and the outer layers of the former star's atmosphere, which have been blown away, creating a planetary nebula called NGC 2440. White dwarfs contain about the mass of the Sun, but have roughly the radius of Earth, and that's why they are among the densest objects in space. A teaspoon of matter from a white dwarf would weigh up to a hundred tons. According to NASA, the gravity on the surface of a white dwarf is about 350,000 times that of gravity on Earth, meaning a 150-pound person on Earth would weigh 50 million pounds on the surface of a white dwarf. When a white dwarf stops radiating, and becomes a cold and inert stellar remnant, it becomes a so-called black dwarf. But because the time required for a white dwarf to reach this state is calculated to be longer than the current age of the universe, which is currently 13.8 billion years old, no black dwarfs are expected to exist in the universe now. However, if a white dwarf is part of a binary system, it may be able to pull material from its companion onto its surface. Thus, the added mass could cause it to collapse into a much denser neutron star, or even increase its temperature and trigger a runaway reaction that detonates in a violent supernova that destroys the white dwarf. In the next video, we are going to talk about red dwarf stars. So please, stick around. If you like this channel and want to support us, please subscribe and hit the bell icon.